In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can make a graph of an inequality. A graph is simply a picture of all the solutions that would make the inequality true. As we set this up, we need to first understand the notation we're going to be using. With inequalities, we've got a symbol that means less than. It almost looks like an arrow pointing to the left. For example, you might notice that 5 is less than 7 or smaller than 7. Sometimes we're interested when we could be actually equal to the number that we're working with, and in that case, we have less than or equal to. And when it's or equal to, there's a little line underneath the arrow. So an example of this would be something such as 3 fourths is less than or equal to 6 eighths. If you were to reduce the 6 eighths, you would find out they are actually equal to each other. So it could be less than or equal to. If we flip the symbols over, we end up with greater than. For example, negative 3 is greater than negative 8. And also, you can have greater than or equal to with the line underneath it. For example, 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. Again, it could be equal or greater than, both would work. When we want to draw a picture of the solutions to an inequality, we want to show all the possible values that could make the inequality true. And so we'll graph them on a number line, showing the range of values that work. As we do, we need to know if it's going to be less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. And how we show that on the graph is when it's just less than or greater than, we'll use an open dot. When we have that or equal to with the line underneath, we'll use a closed dot. So closed dot means or equal to. So for example, if we were asked to graph x is greater than or equal to negative 3, we could do that on a number line. So let's draw a little number line here. So 0 here, negative 3 is obviously the point we're interested in. And as I graph it, we notice it does have the or equal to part. It's got that line underneath. Because it's or equal to, that's when we need to use the solid dot. Next, we notice that because the x is greater than the negative 3, we want to go towards bigger numbers on the number line. Bigger numbers are off to the right. And so with a solid dot and then going off to the right, we end up with our graph from negative 3 going up. We can go the other way as well. If we have a graph, we can come up with the inequality that goes with it. We want to know in this graph how x is related to the number 2. So we've got x and 2. We see we're going down to smaller values. This means the x is smaller than the number 2 or less than. We also notice the open circle. The open circle means it's just less than. A closed circle would mean or equal to. And so this becomes our inequality, x is less than 2. 